Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Kunal, and today I will I will show you guys how I have stopped my game from crashing. So previously, my game used to crash like after every two or three games, and I've tried every damn thing that was available uh, on the internet. And these are the things uh, that worked for me. So I hope it it does for you as well. So I'll get uh, directly to the point. This will be like we will we'll go uh, in a sequence and in, in a stepwise manner, right? So first step is to press Windows and R uh, on your keyboard and you need to type this in your uh, in your dialog box, right? And once you click on OK, right, this window will appear and you need to search for Marvels, right? Once it is in Marvels, you click on Save, uh, you go to Crashes and you delete all your uh, crash report, right? Once that is done, we're gonna close this. We will open our Steam, right? We'll go to the library. Uh, you right click on Marvel Rivals. You go to manage, you go to browse local file. And once you are in this folder, you click on the launcher.exe, right click on it, go to properties, go to compatibility, and you disable, first thing first is you need to disable full screen optimization. Run the program as administrator. Don't do this uh, because once you run this program in the compatibility mode, your shader compilation, every time whenever you will start your game, your shader compilation will take a lot of time. So this, even if you, you keep this disabled, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, your game will not crash, so, so don't worry. Did I say crass? <laughs> My bad guys, right? So this is our step first, right? We make sure to disable, we make sure to delete all the crashes uh, and then we a crash report and then we make sure to run our um, exe file in admin mode and also to disable the full screen optimization, right? Okay guys, so the next step is that we are going to change some of our settings, right? Uh, you launch your game, you go to settings, right? And as you can see, I'm playing on 1414p, 1440p, sorry, and it's it's on full screen. So for anti-aliasing, uh, you select TAAU. Render scale, uh, you can keep it anywhere between 85 to 90, right? Uh, don't go uh, way overboard based on the, the GPU that you are using. So uh, since I have a 3080, uh, what best worked for me is 90, right? Uh, you disable the frame generation you disable uh, the nvidia reflex low latency right and then you cap your fps to either 144 based on again how good your graphic card is or uh, to 120 fps right so these are uh, the settings that you need to change and and see if it works for you also in the graphic segment if if you see i have kept everything as low i've turned on the reflection quality turned off sorry the reflection quality and the uh, global illumination right so this this is the 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 set set step two that we need to do right now this step three which is a little tricky but it is not that difficult is to disable our uh, overclocking if you have any and also to disable the xmp slash docp right i'll show you guys what i'm what i'm talking about all right guys now for the final step the last thing that you need to do is to disable any overclocking that you have on your system uh, for example i have msi uh, that that i have um, underclocked my uh, gpu so what you need to do is you need to close your msi that's the first thing that you need to do the second thing or the last thing that you need to do is to go in your motherboard BIOS, right? And for that, uh, you need all you need to do is you restart your system, and once while it is restarting, you press F F two, right? And once you press F two, it will take you into the BIOS BIOS mode, right? So I have I have, I cannot record that unfortunately, but I've taken screenshot, so I will explain you guys how it looks like and how you can uh, deactivate uh, your XMP slash DOCP, which is basically a RAM overclocking. Uh, ASUS called it DOCP. I think other other motherboard calls it XMP, right? So once you are once you are in the uh, in the BIOS, uh, this is this is the screenshot of my uh, BIOS, which is ASUS motherboard, right? Uh, 
there are two ways you can uh, disable the uh, RAM overclocking. If the first one is you go to the BIOS, you go to AI tweaker and here if you see AI overclock tuner, you have uh, you have three options it says auto manual docp and then you also have an option to turn it off so all you have to do is select uh, disable over here and then you need to click on uh, exit and you need to save your changes and exit right now once you will uh, click on save and exit this is the uh, this is the uh, the the updates that the screen will uh, will show you right and don't worry uh, this is you don't have to fear uh, there's there's nothing to fear uh, about these changes all you have to do is click on ok and then start your system right there are other ways for basically for the asus uh, motherboard the one the people who have asus motherboard you can go to easy mode and once you click on easy mode right you can disable your docp profile from here so this is a drop down if you click on this, you can disable DOCP and all you have to do is save and exit and that's it. You're done guys. And this is the thing that has helped me uh, to play the game properly. My game was crashing. Sometimes it will crash like three or four times in one game. Sometimes it's like it will crash after two or three games. And after, after I have done all these changes, my game has not crashed not even once i have tried the things that the other things that i've tried is i have tried uh, going back to the old nvidia drivers that did not work um i have tried to run in the compatibility mode that did not work only these things worked for me and i hope it does for you also guys uh if it if it if it helped you out uh do let me know in the comment if it doesn't do also you know like you can let me know in the comment and i can try to help you out uh if you're new to the channel guys please drop a like if it helps you out uh subscribe to the channel we are very close to thousand subscribers and i hope you have a good day thank you so much for watching